Wild pig populations are expanding in Texas, which leads to impaired water quality, damage to native plant and animal communities, wrecked landscapes and gardens, and impacts to livestock and agricultural production. To implement best management practices, it's important to recognize the signs they leave behind. These signs could include rooting, wallows, rubs, tracks, trails, scat, and beds. Wild pigs are mobile and often travel considerable distances in search of food. Look for these signs to determine where they've been recently. Research suggests that wild pigs prefer riparian habitats, which are closely associated with diverse vegetation and water resources. Riparian areas are a great place to begin looking for wild signs. Rooting. A wild pig's greatest sense is their sense of smell. Their highly sensitive nose is useful for locating food underground. Rooting is a feeding behavior of wild pigs, and the evidence of this behavior is often easy to identify. If rooting in one area is excessive, the type and abundance of plants at that location can change or be uh, significantly reduced. Rooting is often focused in areas that contain nutrient-dense food re resources. In some cases, rooting damage may only be a seasonal occurrence. This is because the food resource the pigs are seeking is only available seasonally. Wallowing. Wild pigs lack sweat glands, so they create wallows in or near ponds, creeks, and rivers. They will also coat themselves in mud, which helps them remove external parasites by rubbing dry, dried mud off and fixed objects, such as utility poles and trees. Wallowing is most common during the warmer months, but, they can, but it can take place throughout the year. Trails and tracks. Wild pigs often travel along livestock or wildlife trails, so being able to identify their tracks is important. Pig tracks have rounded toes, which can easily distinguish them from other wildlife species. Placing a game camera on trails can help you determine abundance, size, and the direction the hogs are traveling so you can better understand their behavior and have a more successful trapping effort. Also, look for signs of hair or mud on fences if the trail continues past the fence boundary. This will help identify active fence crossings. Scat. On the landscape, you may notice feral hog scat. They can serve as evidence of past activity and also help you discern what the hogs have been eating, which may provide a better idea of current food selection. However, because they're omnivores and their diet changes with availability and the seasons, it may be difficult to pinpoint exact plant species. How do you know it's a feral hog scat? They tend to be tubular shaped, one or two inches in diameter, and can be between four and 14 inches long. Scat is commonly filled with mast, such as acorns and pecans, crops such as milo or corn, or other vegetation, including grasses and shoots. Beds. Wild pigs create shallow beds by overturning the soil to expose the cool dirt in which they lay. They prefer to do this when it's hot and seek dense vegetation, including vines, fallen trees, and thick or thorny plants. These beds offer shade and security and may be difficult to locate. Most beds are associated with wallowing areas or an extremely thick vegetation. Recognizing the signs of wild pig activity is crucial to developing a management strategy. All of these signs can yield much information about the feral hog activity on your property. For more information on wild pigs and their management, contact your local county extension agent or visit feralhogs.tamu.edu.